Welcome back, everybody. We're back for another Gaming by the Letter, and this time for the Atari 2600, we're doing the letter L. So, let's check out the games for the letter L on the Atari 2600 to see which ones I want to add to my collections or don't even bother. So, first on the list, we have Laser Blast. Um, it seems like a simple enough game. Joystick to use your pilot's craft. You can one ship at a time. Pull the joystick. Aim and fire and score. And... Yeah, basically, simple game. Let's try it. Whoa. I mean, it's something you'd see at an arcade. And I do like my arcade games. But I'm dying way too fast on this. Wow. I don't know if I would think it's fun yet, or... Now, when I think of the Atari 2600, I do think of a lot of it as arcade-style games that they brought to the home, which is fine. I do love my arcades, and a lot of the ones I find fun for the Atari are arcade games. But how many arcade games for the Atari do you actually want? Um, this one, if I'm going to have games that are very arcade-like, they need to be really good, almost, other than graphically speaking, play just as great as some of my favorite arcade games. It's not a bad, uh, it's not a bad game, once you get the hang of it, but I don't know if I'd want to have it as a game. I mean, as we sit here and shoot around, it's... It's nothing special. I mean, I'm just basically going over the same thing over and again. Which I is what arcades are. But, you know. There's just you know, there's something right when you play the right game that just feels fun to play. Everything works together. And even though it may seem similar to other games, it's just for you it works out. And for me, Laser Blast, yeah, isn't for me. Let's check out the next game. We have a game called Laser Gate. Okay, I do like my um, shoot in space games like this, so this could be fun. I don't like how half the screen is taken up, but you know, we'll see. Okay, cool. All right, I like what we're going here for here. I wish there was a little bit more ships to fire against. Not a lot more, but you know enough. Ooh. There we go. Finally got some ships. I'm never really a fan of games where you turn around and shoot. I like just going in one direction. Um, especially because when I'm running, I like to be able to go backwards and shoot. Well, I guess if you don't do anything, you kind of can shoot while you back up. It's, it's okay. It's okay, I would have to say. The concept is what I like, but the overall execution, it could have been better. So, you know, Laser Gate isn't mine. I'm going to move on. What do we have next? Lockjaw. Okay. So... Lockjaw is played with one or two players using the joystick. Be sure to power it off when you're done. Okay. All right, doesn't seem like it's uh diving around me. So basically, it's Pac-Man in the water, and probably don't get hit by a shark. Yeah. Well, there's a shark. I'm going to say that this is not fun, but maybe you'll like it. Oh, the shark got me. Yay. Oh, it got me again. Now, at least now the shark's tagged me. But, it's so weird how a concept so simple to another game just doesn't work out. You know, we got Pac-Man going on, basically, and it's just not as fun. So, nice try, Lockjaw, but your fish food. Yeah, that, that was a good joke. Don't worry about it. Alright, next up, Lock and Chase. Okay, another maze game. Uh, 
Thief picks up gold bars as they run. Run, all of the gold bars are gone from the vault. The red door opens, and you escape to the top of the screen. Press the red button, and you have a whole new set of gold bars to pick up. Okay. Probably don't want to get caught by those guys. So speaking of uh, Pac-Man ripoffs, very slow Pac-Man ripoffs. Um, okay, it's it's basically Pac-Man. Very slow Pac-Man. Um, yeah, I don't need to add a Pac-Man clone to my console. It is what it is, and it's not for me. Moving on. Man, some of these games are just... London Blitz, okay. Not really sure how to play. Let's read the directions. Wow, these are long directions. Oh, I see what we're doing. Got to pick our rank. Okay. You know, I do like games that do this style, but need a little bit more uh, detail in this to kind of enjoy it. Fantasy Star Online, or Fantasy Star for the Sega Masters, when you go in some of the places like this, loved it. Like this? Yeah, L is looking like there's not a favorite for me. Okay, let's move on. Lost Luggage, eh? Alright, this looks familiar like every other game. Okay, so let's collect... Everything that's up there, basically. Wow, so quick. There's the luggage. Gotta catch the baby. Um, do I need to play any more of this to tell you that I don't like it? Because uh, I'm going to say that this one is not enjoyable. I've seen some other ones that you play like this in this. Yeah. All right. That's L. We're going to finish right there. So, L, the games we have. Laser Blaster, okay arcade game. Laser Gates, it's a pass. Lockjaw, just play Pac-Man. Lock and Chase, just play Pac-Man. London Blitz, play something else. Lost Luggage, definitely play something else. All right, everybody, that's my L's available on the Internet Archives website. Let me know if there's an L game that just wasn't there that is good to play. And if these games, you find them fun, let me know which one it is. And is it something because you played as a child? Or maybe you just really have to get into the game and make it good at that point. But that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.